I'd like to introduce today uh, Franklin Spicer with Pegasus Online Marketing, and we're very excited about having him on board because um, one of the most foundational aspects to Internet marketing is actually the website. And in Agora, we're, you know, I, I had been looking to expand um, some of our horizons when it comes to websites and also e-commerce websites, which you'll get in today. And then I also wanted the company that built the website to also do the search engine optimization. And um, Franklin actually comes to us from one of our vendors, one of our top sellers. I'm sorry, one of our reps, actually, our advisors. And he, uh, he, entered, you know, he told me he's had great success with them, very happy. When you look at his work, Pegasus does great work. Um, I really like the website that they created. Um, for even for for that advisor and all the ones. So what's different about this is, uh, and Franklin, I'll hand off to you in just a moment. But he creates um, powerful, customized websites, and they're affordable, very affordable. And we uh, we have a month to month. So Franklin, uh, can you kind of tell your background, how you got into uh, what you do, and your levels of experience, and maybe some of the clients you work with, and and why you do what you do, and then we'll kind of jump into the product. Sure. Just in, in uh, the Cliff Notes version of my history is I got back into computers. I have a degree in computers with a business minor uh, back in the early 80s. I've had my own consulting company for 21 years down in Los Angeles working for large corporations, including Bank of America, Bank of America Countrywide Home Loans, Universal Studios, Universal Music. So I did that for 21 years, worked on uh, – as a developer, as a project manager, um, et cetera. Um, I did that for 21 years, worked on huge projects, multi-million dollar projects, big teams, even and then one-offs as well. In 2008, I downsized to working with just small and local businesses. 2009, I started Pegasus Online and um, really wanted just to focus on the marketing side of it. But what I quickly realized was that, that you know, there's two point components. You have to have traffic and you have to have conversion. And if you don't have a website that's going to convert, no matter how much traffic I get to you, it's, you're going to be throwing your money away. So very quickly, we went back, we went into the, uh, back into the website business as well. And, uh, and so we've built tons of websites. And our, our, now there's a lot of people that can create pretty websites. What we do is we create websites that are custom designed, look great, but also have really strong marketing principles embedded in them and that a lot of a lot of companies miss. And they give you that advantage because the whole purpose of a website, if you're driving traffic to it, is you want people to take some type of action. And and if you're not having them take action, then you're just wasting you know your time as far as uh, you're getting them there. So. Uh, we have a team. We have a, a strong team that uh, develops these websites. Uh, we position, and we'll, I guess we'll get into the market, uh, the uh, pricing side. But we've got a, a variety of websites for people that are starting. At point is people that go, well, I really could do it myself, but I really don't want to. So for a few bucks more, they can get a, a professionally designed site, all the way up to uh, large, large companies. Uh, we've got packages that all the way in between. And then we also have the e-commerce side, what we call the shopper. So we have an entry point shopper one, which right the e-commerce website right there. We have the uh, entry point one, which is comparable to uh, I, like Shopify. It's very comparable to their their entry one. Uh, the difference is, is that we build everything in WordPress. Using WordPress is our platform, and and the reason why we do that is to make it as easy as possible for the businesses to update the websites themselves. Uh, and as part of our plans, they also, and we'll go into it, they also get support hours, so they're never stuck, they're never alone. Um, and that's a quick overview. Thank you. Um, also, we're going to get into this. Uh, we're going to kind of dig in and, um, and get into, like, affordable monthly websites. But one thing I wanted to point out, one of the reasons why we chose Pegasus also is, Jeremy, can you go to the uh, plans page just for a moment? And then um, if you look at this, we act he actually has a plan where someone can get a website for $57 a month. 
And uh, that's incredible because I knew there were some people that they don't want to necessarily, uh, you know, have like a a 20-page website. Maybe they just want a couple pages and uh, make it really affordable. But his packages are very, very affordable for what he does. So can we kind of, and Jerry, I'm going to have you take over, but why don't we go in and uh, talk about the websites and then maybe show some examples uh, and go through here, Jeremy? Get over to the examples. And then, Franklin, if you could just take over and kind of talk about uh, the websites, what it takes, and then we'll jump into, like, the form and stuff like that. Sure. And I also wanted to interject, too. One of the things you had asked me earlier in the earlier question was the type of websites that we've done, the clients that we have. And so, basically, we've done websites for everything from lawyers to house cleaners to uh, oil change, uh, dentists, uh, pretty much, you know, a lot of different markets. So... Um, if if they're in business, we as part of it, we get to understand their business and really work with them to um, to really make their branding strong and their business strong on and with their website. So there's not a, there's not uh, ones that we don't really work with. There's some markets that are more dominated by other areas, but that in a nutshell is the kind of clients that we can handle. That's great. Thank you for adding that in, Franklin. So, Vince, you want me to just kind of go through some of the different tabs and just explain the pricing on the different packages and, and just kind of go over that real quick? Yeah, but I want them, I also want them to see uh, the websites. Actually, go to okay. uh, the about. Yeah, let's, let's dive yeah. in. This yeah. it's, and, and Franklin, maybe you can kind of talk about the marketing aspect when we look at these. Um, sure. So, um, I'll kind of scroll through the plans really quick. So we have uh, five different plans uh, on the, the non-e-commerce website. So we have the pro package, like Vince was saying, you know, as little as $57 a month. Each package does have a small setup fee, so you'll see that due today is slightly more than what the monthly is going to be thereafter. So that's just the, the one-time setup, and then you'll see, like, the deluxe package, 234 and then 97 a month, gold, 394 and then 157 a month. So you guys kind of see... Um, just that uh, that pattern there, but there we are getting obviously a discount, or our clients are. So if you see right down here in red, you know it's normally a little bit more um, on, on the setup, and then a little bit more per month. Um, now these forms, um, there is a form that's required anytime a customer purchases this website, and I'll I'll click on that really quick here just so we can take a look and see what that looks like. So Franklin and his team need a little bit of information. Obviously, they need a business name, who the individual is, their email, their phone number, so they can reach out to them. Uh, if they have a logo already created, which I think most companies do these days, then we'd select yes, upload the logo, description on the company, so on and so forth. So it's a pretty pretty straightforward. I just filled one out yesterday for a client. I think it took me all of about 90 seconds or so, including the upload of the logo. So it's a pretty quick, straightforward thing here. Uh, and then let's show a couple of the example websites. So uh, I know you guys have a lot of clients, Franklin. I had just kind of picked um, a few different industries just so we, we could kind of see. So this is one that you guys had did. I, I really like this website. It's a great website, and I'm sure we're all familiar with the Castrol brand. So this is one of the websites that they've made for this company. Beautiful, beautiful website. And this would be considered a uh, deluxe package. Okay, good. And then we could take a look at, uh, I like this one. This one's kind of fun. Comic books. Yeah, or the believe comics. And, and I believe this was an e-commerce, right? This is a shopper. Yeah, this, this would be a shopper gold is what this one would be. Yeah. And, um, yeah, they're right in the middle of uh, a heavy, heavy, uh, they're, they're getting ready for an event this week, so their website's probably taking a hit speed-wise. With this one, the challenge was, you know, not violating any copyrights, but still giving it the feel of, you know, comic, the comics. And so this was a fun project to do. Love it. It's very fun. <laughs> I understand yeah, why you probably had fun doing it. It's it's a yeah. it's a pretty fun website for sure. Yeah, it was the challenge. But well, what's exciting about this is that these are customized websites that are affordable. Where a lot of times you got to spend some bank to get these for this type of quality. So you're not only getting a good deal, you're also getting high quality and customization with. 
That's why we really like these. Yeah, and, and you said, Franklin, that was the Shopper Gold you said on that one? That was the Shopper Gold. And to add to that, Vince, too, um, the – oh, I just lost my train of thought. Sorry about that. Can you kind of go into the difference between a normal website and then there's some people that understand the difference between a normal website and an e-commerce website? Okay. Oh, that's what I was going to say with um, – we do custom design sites. So the Everything is custom designed for them. So like you were saying, a lot of people will shove you, at the, especially at this price point, into templates. And we don't use templates. Everything is custom designed. They get, you know, depending on the package, two, you know, two, three – or more options to choose from from the get-go. So uh, I just wanted to interject that. And so your question was, Vince? Is, are you trying to tell the difference, uh, if you could let people know the difference between an, an e-commerce website compared to just a normal website? Would people yes. really know that? So the e-commerce site is obviously for someone who wants to sell products on their own website. So, so like if you click on the Shop Now uh, little cloud there, um, yeah, right down below. Yeah, I clicked on the cart and yeah, yeah, yeah so you need to go, to the, and go back. Yeah, yeah, you need to go to the actual store to see what he's doing. But so e-commerce is for someone who wants to sell products. Now they can be physical products, they can be digital products, they can be memberships, they can anything they want to sell, but they want to sell them on their site. They want to collect the money and then fulfill the order, whether it's physical or digital. Um, so the e-commerce are full functioning. There's nothing that's missing on these as far as, you know, you've got the, the, the um, cart functionality, you've got the full product functionality, you've got the account so people can track their orders. Uh, so it's full functioning. Everything that Shopify uh, does, the difference is that with Shopify, they're a closed system and you're stuck with their templates. So... You can't really, we actually took and redid a website from Shopify back over to WordPress and into our thing. So what this is not for is someone who uh, is like a, uh, a member of an MLM and they're selling like, it's for like new skin, right? And they want people to go to the new skin site to buy their stuff. That would not be the e-commerce sites. That would be one of our other sites where we would just link to their, to their MLM page. Um, so we've had that confusion in the past. So I just want to make sure everyone's clear on that. Hey, great. So I'm sure we're probably all familiar with the kind of add to cart, right? So that's what I did. I just added a couple of the carts. So I added this uh, Game Boy adapter and then a Star Wars toy there. And if we just Can go you? over to the cart, it would be familiar with what we're all used to shopping online. I'll take to the cart. You fill out your information, put your cart on file pay your shipping, proceed to checkout, and then they'll fulfill the order and mail it to you. And with this, too. So, what, yeah, we, we had to separate the two of these because uh, it's a whole separate, a separate pricing structure because there's more work involved in the uh, e-commerce. But he still has affordable, uh, real affordable packages and deals on us. Maybe, Jeremy, you can kind of go show some of the pricing there. And, Franklin, just you want to add in there? Oh, uh, I, I was going to say there's, as an example, there's a, a custom sticker store here in Portland that uh, we built a site for, no limits, pdx.com. And with them, uh, they also have extra things like they need, if you're going to order a custom sticker, you need to, um, there's different options that we had to add, such as, you know, upload a file, do you want it rushed, all these different things. So it just, there's a lot of flexibility with this e-commerce engine that we're using. And it all sits and integrates really, really, really nicely with with the WordPress platform that we're using. Yeah, I wanted to I wanted to highlight on the on the uh, comic book website that we're just looking at. You know, it's a tremendous site. It's very fun. Great colors. Feature functionality of the website was very easy. I just added a couple things, so it's it's all very fluent, which is nice. I don't want anything too complicated. You know, if, if it's too hard to figure out how to buy something, you're gonna you're gonna lose some folks. So I like the simplicity of it, but also, um, and then you guys obviously took the time to, to build it custom as well. Like you, that's a great point. Is usually price points like this 
are in those templates, you know, where it's literally just kind of dropping stuff in and there's really no customization to it. So that's phenomenal that you guys actually are doing this custom every single time at these price points. So I know we're we're getting a little bit better pricing um, because of Agora, but yes. for example, I mean that comic book store they paid somewhere around five hundred dollars down and then two hundred and thirty seven dollars a month for that website. I think that's right. a wonderful, wonderful price, you know, for that kind of website. Um so I, I am in obviously the e commerce or the shopper websites as as we will refer to them as. So you have very similar that we saw in the other ones. There's uh five different options. So you have your, your basic shopper your Shopper Deluxe, Shopper Gold, Platinum, and Signature, and the price points obviously go up because you know certain websites need to be built different ways, more pages, so on and so forth. Um, but there is, if you notice right here on each package, click here to see what's included. I love this. This is great. Um, Pegasus did a great line, a uh, great job putting this together. So this is just really easy to go here and say, okay, I want the Shopper Deluxe package. What am I going to get? And it tells you right here, okay, it's $157 a month. You're going to pay a 237 setup, so you're going to combine the two prices. That's going to be the, the um, checkout price, 237 plus 157 so that's the 394 But they're getting responsive design, um, so, so basically um, mobile optimized. You know, it's going to work on any phones, any tablets, and on the PC. Um, hosting and domain names included. Maybe you want to um, talk a little bit about that, Franklin or Vince, because I know that's uh, to me, that's pretty exciting, too, because a lot of times you're going to have to pay for hosting separate. You know, you have to go and, and get a domain name if you don't already have one. So what do you guys um, do there when, when it comes to the domain? If somebody's brand new, doesn't have a website, what, what are you guys going to do for them on the domain side? Yeah, so on the domain side, we're basically going to work with them to find which domain will work best with their branding and if it's available, because obviously a lot of times names are not available. So we find the best one that fits their branding, it's going to help with their SEO component. Uh, it's going to give them a little more Google love. And then uh, we purchase that for them so they don't have to worry about that. Um, and then the free hosting is included. Now, some clients already have hosting uh, and they prefer to keep their hosting. We can do that as well. We, uh, most people will host with us. But if you do already have hosting you really love and you're happy with it and you don't want to change, we have that option as well where we can, we can definitely move it to their host as long as it's a Word, WordPress hosting uh, site, which most of them are. Absolutely. And, Absolutely. That's great. And, um, and there were – there actually asked, was a – Yeah, someone asked go, go if – That's what I was yeah, going to say. Someone yeah, asked, asked if you do – Yeah, if you allow – if you, that includes SSL security also. Yes. Yeah, so if you – down there, you'll see e, right there, e-commerce online store – you get the SSL certificate uh, and the payment gateway set up. So that's all included. And one thing I really Can want to talk? point out. Oops, go ahead. Yeah. No, no, go. I was going to say, one thing I really want to point out on all the packages, this so a selling point that no one else is offering, as far as I know, we came up with this, and is the, the website redesign option every two years. So I really want to highlight this. Because this is a really strong selling point. So, so what happens first of all when we when we intake a client when we start is we do the whole consultation with them, which is a uh, you know from anywhere from 45 minutes up to a couple hours, and that based on that we create designs, we go through the design process, and then we build the site out. Um, they have that option every two years. They could say, well, you know, we like our design our uh, design of our site, but we really like this change or this change in design. So we get to go through that process again. Or they could say, hey, I like Joe's site. Look how modern and fresh and this thing looks great. I want mine to look just like this or, or similar. So then we can do a complete redesign. We don't change the content. We don't change the structure. But we basically can put a brand new look on it. Um, so that's super added value. So basically what you're getting is every two years, you're getting uh, basically a brand new website. Because trends change and design trends change, and they've changed pretty quickly. Um, so this helps uh, businesses have their website look, you know, very contemporary and very up to date, if not ahead of the curve. Yeah, just help them keep up with the times. That's great. Yeah, um, yeah. Otherwise, you look dated. Because if you look dated, yeah, you've got, you've <laughs> got to look. You've got to look at who the you know people are used to Google and Amazon and 
Best Buy and, and all these, you know, these, big, these big websites, and that's who sets the tone. So if your website doesn't look as good as theirs, people aren't subconsciously going to want to trust you. You know, they may not realize it, but they're going to look and go, well, this doesn't look professional. You know, and they may not consciously get that, but subconsciously, there's like, well, this doesn't look as good as what I'm used to, so can I trust it? So having a website that looks, you know, up to date and is using current contemporary design elements, which our eyes are used to, is really, really important for the trust factor, trust factor which then helps with the conversion factor. Yeah, like Vince talks about in his five pillars of the internet training what is it like a half a second for somebody to make a judgment on your website to form an opinion so the look and the feel is is very very important you know we we are getting a couple of other really good questions so i'm just going to unmute a couple folks here diana i'm going to start with you because you had a question about the ssl which we just answered but then um, you also had another question about uh, turnaround time so you are unmuted you can go ahead and uh, talk to franklin yeah, hi. Thank you so much. I, um, I'm i really intrigued by what you say because I have a web development company. Um, and so uh, the first question I had is, um, are you, um, can I white label you? Can you become sort of my team? And secondly, uh, what is your average turnaround time for a site? Yeah, yeah. so the average is about four weeks. Uh, we can knock them out in two weeks. Um, it just really depends on the client because of the con- – so basically, once once they do the paperwork and we're submitted, we try to get them scheduled within a couple of days to get the design process started. And um, and so a lot of – you know, as you know, design is very subjective. So sometimes it goes very quickly. Sometimes the clients want to sit on it and, and think about it for a while before they make a decision. So if the client is very responsive, and also responsive. Now, one of the things we didn't talk about is we also do content. Content writing is included with almost all the packages except for the entry packages. So, mm-hmm. we, the, so those are the two things that can take, that are, can take the, you know, we, the most time, especially content writing, which is the hardest thing. Of, one of the hardest things is about getting is good content. So, so we start those processes right away. And, you know, typically we're trying to get everything turned around from beginning to end within four weeks. Again, it can take longer if a client, depending on the client's response to both the design as well as the content writer. Um, and the fastest we've ever done one from start to finish is about two weeks. Mm-hmm. And we're working on trying to get that even faster. We've got new, new things that we're implementing in our processes to get that even faster. But, again, it's this, a lot of it is just really the speed of the client and how fast and how responsive they are to us. We, our, our, our philosophy is keep the ball in their court so that, so that we're, they're never waiting on us. We're, we're, you know, we're waiting on them to give us something back. So that's what we try to do to keep it moving right. and to keep them happy. You know, so right. so they, they feel that they're constantly, you know, um, that they know what's going on. Not yeah, and I'm, I'm sure during the, the the design and marketing consultation, you guys probably find out a lot. Obviously, as as far as um, you know, providing an ETA right during that 45, 60, or 90 minute, or in some cases even a two hour consultation, if they're doing that that high end yeah. package, you guys are going to be able to probably to determine um, a really good ETA at that point, depending on how that call goes. Well, we we what we do is we really yeah ETA we get a feel for it, but we really make sure that we're clear on expectations. So we always wrap up those calls with saying, okay, look, here's the process now. Here's what's going to go on. So, and, and again, I basically state what I just stated to you is, you know, you, you take as much time as you need to make your decisions. We don't want to rush anyone, but again, that's going to affect the delivery time. So we're, we try to be real clear with that so that they don't think, oh, I'm going to get it in a week or, and then be disappointed. We really want to set the expectation, be real clear with it, and then right. uh, meet or surpass the expectations. What we try to do. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect, and I think that's great. Business. Jeremy, can you Jeremy, can you pull up the other page, the uh, for the affordable website? This one's for the e-commerce, but I want to go pull up the other. Yeah, and while and I'm then, pulling that up, I think then, Diana had something else she wanted to add. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I, 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 I also talked about a couple things too. You also I asked about the white label. That's a, a Vince question. Um, Dan, what were you going to ask just now, and then I'll, I'll answer that question also. 
Okay. Yeah. Um, the other question I, I, I find with a lot of my clients that ends up slowing down the design process is we realize um, early on that they really don't have a comprehensive branding image. Anything from they're still needing a logo to they really don't know what they want to do in terms of consistent fonts and this and that so that they're creating a consistent image across the web. And do you have somebody, a branding expert on your team, or how do you handle that? Yeah, so on that intake form that we showed you earlier, you'll see that one of the first things we ask them is, do you have a logo? Because as you know, the logo is the heartbeat of the website, and everything, it drives everything, the colors, the, the style of the website, the font choices. That logo is driving everything. Um, so that's the first thing we ask them. Um, and then, so I'd say, you know, um, half of our clients come in already with, with, with logos, and then the other half either don't have logos or have really bad logos. So, um, you know, so at that point, then we, we say, well, you know, look, you've got to, you know, we can't build your website without a logo. So we do offer logos. That's not something yet that we've talked with Agora about, but we do offer that. So whether we do it or someone else has, that has to be done. So on our side, we do a lot of logos and work with them on their branding. If they need extra uh, hand-holding and really not clear on their brand or, or their business, we actually have a, a partner that we refer out to to help them with that process. Um, but usually it's more... It's very rare that we refer out unless they're really new to their business and they really don't have a clear vision. Uh, a lot of people that are in business for themselves and, and have been doing it for a while know their business. They're just not really sure how to represent it. So we, we do have um, – so that's where we always start. Is you, either you have a logo that, that – and if the logo they give us is not going to work, we will we'll tell them that, you know, because, you know, a lot of people have logos that are still using design elements from 15 years ago and they're just – it's going to make their whole website look dated. Right. Yeah, it all starts there. One thing, I want, a couple of things I wanted to point out here also is although, you know, we sell them at $57, if you look, that's only three pages. Make sure you don't undersell a client. That's really uh, – re this is actually a really good option uh, for, like, someone like, like you guys that are um, reps and you want to get a, a website to get your name out there or something simple, or like a landing page. That's, these, that's what that's for, but that we needed an affordable solution for that. But then most company, most customers are going to need a five-pager or a seven-pager, no getting around it. And then also on that gold, we did have a question. And, Dan, I'm going to come back, and I'm going to address the white labeling in just a moment, okay? Um, but there was a question also uh, about the flexible marketing sections. Can you talk about that a little bit? Sure, sure. Can you, uh, Vince, can you bring up uh, whitelotusreno.com in a new tab, please? That'll be Jeremy. Or... I mean, Jeremy, sorry. Yeah, there you go. That was actually one of the example sites I put up there. I really like their website. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so white, So this, this is a gold package. And so, you know, it includes a uh, background video in their splash area with a pop-up video over top. And so... Uh, is if you scroll down now, so this is a full width, full height, and 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 also this is one design element too that people are really loving. Where you're just at this, oh, can you scroll back up to the to the green there? This is what's called the top three area, um, and so this is a really popular design element. We have a lot of different ways we can present this, but if you hover above one of those, you'll see that what it does is pops open, gives them a little information, and also connects a visceral image with with the message as well and this is a really popular design element so i just wanted to highlight this so now if we scroll down uh so flexible flex sections are uh this so this is not the flex section this is the, like why what we call our why choose us so here's a flex section so what flex sections do is uh, and depending on the design and we can present them in a variety of different ways but the whole idea is it's an image a a um, title some text and a call to action. And it's very easy for the business to add a flex section. So what the flex sections do, they're flexible and they allow the business to add content to their home page 
without having to rebuild the site or come to us and say, we need this added, what, how long is it going to take? So it allows, you can, you can uh, reorder them. It's drag and drop. You can reorder them. You can also, if they're seasonal, you could say deactivate. And then when next Christmas or whatever the holiday or season is, you reactivate it. You can edit it, change it. Um, so like here with White Lotus, you know, their top one is they, they're, we've gotten them so much business that they've stopped uh, advertising because they need uh, uh, the next one up. They need help. Um, uh, oops. Uh, I'm sorry. After coupons. It's the we're hiring one. Oh, uh, you know what? You need to go to whitelotusreno.com. This is their, their facade site. Yeah, I'm sorry. White Lotus Reno. This is just their facade site, which is a whole different thing. Um, that's why it's not sure. White Lotus Inc. Reno or just White no, Lotus Reno? WhiteLotusReno.com, yeah. That, yeah, this is this. That's a facade site which drives them into White Lotus Reno. So here you go. So... Yeah, so now you'll see the first one is we are hiring because they need people. So we just added a, a flex section, moved it to the top. Once they, they get staffed up, we'll then deactivate it, but it'll still be there. So if they need more people, we can always reactivate it. So these are flex sections. Um, and, again, this is one style. We have many different ways to, to show flex sections, um, and, but they all function the same way. Uh, can you bring up in another tab? It's Stem Cell Back Institute. Yeah, and I'll show you just one of the many, many ways that we do flex sections. So if you scroll down, here you go. So here's their flex sections area. So it's over a background that if you hover above that background with your mouse, it's got the, the parallax, which it responds to the mouse or the tablet or phone as it's moving. But here you see, same idea. It's a circle. Or I'm sorry, an image, title, some text, call to action. It's just presented a different way. And it can have as many or a few. You know, typically we start out at least three or four of them on the initial load of the site. Um, and, but they can always add more, rearrange them. We've got some clients that have seven, eight of them. Eventually you get to a point where you've got too many and it's just too much stuff on the page. But again, it really depends on the business and what they're trying to do. So, that's the flex section. So long answer to your short question, but that's what they are because they're, they're very powerful. And it's also a very powerful selling tool because a lot of people will jump from that deluxe package up to the gold just for the flex sections. Jerry, can you go back to the pricing? So, so hope you guys, you know, I've been doing websites. I've act, I actually build websites myself and, um, have done them in you know for years in the past but if you look in here these this is incredible there's there, there's a couple key things like the content writing being included you know we worked with another vendor they wanted to charge six hundred dollars for that and that can really slow the project down or hinder them from you know hey they want to get a portal website but they have to drop a bunch of extra money down that's included that's really good uh these sections right here uh you know and also being customizable and then also the redesign every two years. So there's there's a few things. Plus you got your blog pages on here. So when you go through here, just make sure you don't undersell your client, uh, your customer, and get them on a three pager when really they need a seven pager with the flex sections. Um, and and this is also a customized website, which is you know this is powerful for the price they're getting. This is an incredible price with the hosting included and um, SSL security. And so make sure you don't undersell, you know, make sure, you, you know, and I also gave Franklin the permission uh, if he's talking to one of your clients and you get him in the wrong package or maybe you might oversell them also. Um, but, you know, we want to make sure you're getting the client right in the right package. Franklin, you want to mention a little bit about that? Yeah, exactly. So what, um, one of the things is that I do is typically what I'll do is I'll show them, and I, I don't know if you have the link to it, uh, Jeremy, but – the uh, no pricing sheet. Uh, do you have a link? Yeah, to that I can. Um, I, I don't have a link to it, but I can. Yeah. So basically, what I do is I'll sit down with the client and and show them this exact sheet, except it doesn't have the pricing at the top or bottom. So I show them that, and when then we really we re, there you go. We really sit in and figure out what what is it that they need. How many you know how many pages. 
So again, the deluxe is your basically portfolio page, the shopper, or I'm sorry, well, you're looking at shopper, but um, the, 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 um, the deluxe uh, is really where most people sit in because that's your typical five-page portfolio. But then the gold, a lot of people will jump to the gold because they want that flex section. They want the ability. It also comes with a custom page. So like uh, a custom page could be uh, meet the team where on the back end they put a picture, the name, their title, some description. They could have uh, extra description. And we format that page based on all the information that they've supplied on the back end. It makes it super, super easy. Another one is a, a company that we'll finished up their website. They're a, a brewing company up in Washington. And so they have a beers list. So they put in the, the label, the title, all attributes, how much alcohol, blah, 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 all the different attributes of beer, the description. And then we take that and we format it. So that's what custom pages are. So depending on how many of those they have also determine what kind of packages they're in. But again, a lot of people will jump to the gold from the deluxe for the flex sections and that custom page. So those are really good selling points. The content writing, the only one that it's not included is on the, the, the basic packages, the very basic packages. And we are uh, figuring out a price point to add content. So you can also, if they don't want to put the content in themselves or, or write it themselves, then for an additional fee, they can have a content writer write that for that. But it's included with everything else. And in fact, like you were saying, Vince, one of the companies that we used to partner with uh, for the deluxe, just for the deluxe, they wanted $1,000 to write the content for a deluxe package for the five pages and 1500 for the gold. So that's kind of the, you know, the, they're more of a mid-priced company. But that just shows you the value. And, and we typically, we won't do a website if someone says, I want to write my own content. They will, if they want to write their own content, they still will be working with our content writer who will edit it, uh, make sure they're happy. And then he, that content writer will also load the initial load of all the content to the website. So it makes it super, super easy for the businesses to get up and running. One other, one other thing, too, which goes along with the content, if you see down at the bottom there, it says Basic Search Optimization SEO. Um, that, that's important when you're doing the content writing also, uh, that especially for whatever they want to go after with their SEO. Maybe you can talk a little bit about the SEO. And, look, this is also included in it, and a lot of companies don't include this either. So this is another added benefit for this price range. Can you yeah. talk a little bit about that? Yeah, so basically with the basic – so at this level – you know, we have uh, we include the basic SEO, so we have some different plugins that we we have licenses to, so we have pro licenses to, um, and so we include those. So the, we have a really good SEO plugin, which uh, at the, these packages they get the basic, you know, the the title tags, uh, meta tag information, um, and then it's but it also gives us the framework that we need to take them to the next level if they sign up for one of the local SEO packages. Uh, so super important. Uh, and then also the security, backup, and performance. So security and backup work hand in hand. Obviously, people, if you have, there's a lot of insecure sites out there, and hackers love those. So we make, we make it as hard as possible to, to get hacked. And if we do, then we have backups. So if someone does get hacked, which I haven't had one knock on wood in a long, long time, but we can get them back up and running within an hour or two, which is part of their monthly support hours. Um, and yeah, so, but because of the security backup that we use so far, it's been a couple years at least since I've had to do that. But it, as you know, hackers are getting more sophisticated. So it's a constant battle. You never know when it's going to happen. So we want to be prepared for that on the performance side. You know, Google loves performance. The better your website performs, the more Google love you're going to get. So we use the performance plugin to do caching and, um, minifying and there's a number of things it does so that we get the fastest performance available as well and then we're also looking uh, at these packages to include uh, Cloudflare which is a CDN uh, in between to even get more performance so we're looking at that right now to um, to include that as well as part of the performance what is the training session and video recording? Can you talk about that? I was going to ask the same thing. <laughs> yeah, so, so the flow is... So Great minds think alike. <laughs> yeah, so once the website is, is done and the content's been loaded, uh, we submit it to the client for final review, and we make final adjustments, and then uh, we go live. So once we've gone live, 
Then we set up a training session, which is a virtual one. And uh, basically, I walk them through. So we set them up with their login, and I walk them through everything they're going to need to know uh, for in order to update their website. Now, what we also do – oh, and then we also include – so I'm recording the whole thing so that when at the end of the session, I send them their video – uh, that they'll have to keep it's it, you know it's uploaded to YouTube, so they'll have it. It's not going anywhere. So if they need it as a reference, they can always go back. Well, what did he say? What you know? So some people are very like to be very hands on, and so this is a great tool for them. Uh, and then if they get stuck, they have the monthly support hours. They always have that option to say, Hey, I'm stuck. I, I need help, and we do a quick virtual meeting, and I, I help them out. So so the, between the training session, the video recording, the monthly support hours. We make, make it so they're super comfortable and don't feel that they're lost or no one's there to help them if they do get stuck with changing their content. Yeah. Now, this is for a business. The website is everything. It's the destination. It's the hub uh, of everything they do, you know, to get their leads, you know, the look and feel. It's their online business card. It's their shopping. So, you know, what you, what he's put together here. I'm telling you guys, you, it's going to be tough to beat a deal like this and find all this stuff included for these price points and to get this value, you know, to not just get a cookie cutter, um, but a customized one with all these extra special things to it. It's just an incredible deal. Now, I wanted to go back, uh, Diana, and um, you talked about white labeling. And one of the ways that Agora is set up is um, – What's exciting about Agora is you have the ability to resell this. We have a lot of coaches. We have a lot of marketing companies. We have a lot of – we've even made it where you can turn products off, you know, if you don't want that one in Agora for, like, a client to see. So in your situation, Dan, if you want to white label it, what you'll want to do is you'll want to collect the money. And here's another thing. You can charge them whatever you want to charge them. Um, and then you go in into your account, but we have it set up. We, you set up their own membership account in Agora, but don't, I wouldn't give your client access at that point. You would keep the access, and you would buy this through Agora, and you could white label it. And, uh, you know, we were potentially going to white label, but we just co-branded. And then, um, but you just may want to let Frank and their team know, you know, that this is a white label. Frank, you want to talk about how to handle that? So you look like, so it's for, let's just get the client. She wants to white label, white label us, and right. uh, basically just say this is coming out. So she's going to pay for it, right? Mm -hmm. She's going to collect the money from the customer and then come to you and then, and then in your communications that they'll know that you're working for her. Yeah, so the way that I do it is, you know, um, whatever the company is, so whether it's Agora or um, Dinah, what is your company's name? Oh, Web Concierge Services. Okay. Uh, so I would say, you know, hey, this is Franklin. I'm calling uh, for web concierge services, or, or we partner is the way that I say it. We partner with web concierge services, and I'm calling you about your new website or local SEO or whatever the practices that you sold. So that's the way that we come in. So right away I identify or I say, you know, this is Franklin. Uh, I partner with Agora Advantage. You've just bought a new website through them. And, um, you know, I'm, we're, we want to get started, you know, in the process that we take. So that's the way I, I come Is that in. somewhere in our notes? Can you go to that intake form? And why don't we go ahead and talk about that intake, go to that intake form and the process of what happens. Okay, so let's say uh, we have a client or someone has a client that filled this form out. Do we have that in there? Is there a place where they, she can add notes in here? Scroll down. No, we can add an extra field, easily add an extra yeah, field. Yeah, can you add that field in here? Sure, okay, sure. For that? Yeah. Uh, and then can you kind of let people know, and Dan, does that answer your question? Um, yeah, I mean, I think I, I have like a ton of technical questions, which would really shift the whole focus of this meeting. So maybe we could just arrange a one-off and I could do my techie deep dive with you on some stuff. So That would be great, yeah. Yeah, and I wanted to elaborate a little bit on what Vince was saying is, is we do have a number of advisors who do this right now where they're they're pretty much the consultant for the business. They're handling all their marketing efforts. They're handling this. They're handling that all for the company. So um, you can basically go in and, like Vince said, create a membership for that business. And I always suggest doing like, uh, you know, 
uh, doing like a hyphen, you know, of the business. So Diana hyphen, then whatever the name of your client is, just something for you to know that that is your actual client's membership that you're controlling. And then what you would do is you would basically put your credit card attached to that member account. Agora would bill you directly, and then you can collect from the client whatever amount of money it is that you want to collect from them. So you can work it that way. Yeah. Uh, we have one of our biggest clients, um, Pest Control Center, um, the uh, marketing firm, you know, they bill them, then they bill us on everything. And, and that guy bought tons of stuff from us. But, uh, Franklin, can you kind of talk about um, when once this form gets filled out, what will take place? Kind of just yes. talk from here. So once once the form's filled out, then we make like contact. Like in the timing. Yeah, so typically we try to do within two business days. Once we get the form, uh, reach out to them, or at least uh, what I'm going to send or what I'm in the process of doing, because obviously this is a new relationship here and, and we're still sorting out our processes, but is that once they submit this form to reply back to them and say, thanks, we've got your email, we'll respond to you within you know two business days for additional information so we can get started and we need, so what we need to do first, first thing is to make sure they're in the right package. And if then, once I've identified they're in the right package, um, or if any changes need to be made, we make that adjustment and communicate that adjustment, obviously, and then um, and then schedule their design session. That's you know that and that kicks it all off. And once that's scheduled, also too within uh, within the week, you know, within five business days or less, the um, content manager is going to, or a content writer is going to be reaching out to them to schedule a time to start the content because we've got to start the content while the design is going in order to make the, the delivery times that we do. Are there any, uh, any other questions? Uh, Steve? Uh, yeah, I think Steve had a question. On, yeah, on the redesign, um, there's no additional charge. Right, Franklin? He's asking. No additional, additional charge. Additional charge. Uh-huh. No, it's part of the process. Yep. So every two years you can redesign the website. No additional charge. That's a no pretty sweet deal charge. there. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to show everybody else something too on our website really quick while I'm thinking about it because I know um, Andy, you had asked about scrolling down a little bit on the um, pricing page to see what the what the upfront was. If you guys go over to the sidebar here underneath Communicate and you go over to the document library, I've actually already added those in here so you guys can go in there and take a look at those. And, of course, it's right there inside the marketplace too, so you don't necessarily have to go over here. But we always keep things in multiple places. So what I will also do is I'm going to add in the one that I had pulled up that had no pricing on it. So if you guys want to go talk to your client without having prices right there because, you know, it's really about what the client needs. You know, what they need, not necessarily the price point. So, so you, you know, you could run into a problem where they go, well, I want that one, but it's a little bit more than what I want to spend. It, it really just need to find out what's what the client actually needs. So um, I'll add the no pricing ones in here, but they're already in here right now, the ones with the pricing. So just to open it up, just to kind of show you, it's, it's also right in here, just like it is in the marketplace. So just wanted to show you you guys that real quick. Uh, go ahead, Vince, what you're saying? Yeah, so so you you guys can see that, you know, this is an incredible deal, an incredible opportunity. Uh, one one thing, this is this is kind of a sensitive subject, uh, but you know, in, in how I'd say this is that we were able to work a deal with Franklin. This is also month to month. Um, where normally this would be a year or two year contract, and um, but I feel that if we do it right and you put the customer in the right plan, they will stick with this website for a year or two. Especially with that redesign, right? They don't need to go to someone else, you know, if they need a redesign. And so this is built where your customers will stick with this for a very long time, and they may never change. It might just stay continually with the life of their their business. If they're happy, if the if a business owner is very happy with their website and there's no need to change, they're not going to change it. And if it's got all the bells and whistles they want on there and it's looking good and it's converting, you know. So that's why we we teach. You know, we're not just a one trick pony here. We teach marketing techniques. So 
one, your customers will get better results, and two, they're just going to stay longer with you because it's working. Franklin, do you want to add to that? Oh, I think you said it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah. So the the goal here is to really take care of a customer and um, not just get money from them and run, but really take care of these customers, really help them with their uh, marketing overall plan. That's why I teach the five pillars of the Internet. We don't just come in with one thing. Uh, but really, you know, cause we understand that reviews and, you know, video and social media and getting on Google all play a part. So, th- there, well, go ahead, let me ask, uh, open this up one more time. Is there any other questions? Uh, Andy, did you have a question on a portable site? Did you get your question answered, Andy? You wanted to see up front? I think he was talking about the upfront money there. So if you look at the pricing, uh, the way that Jeremy got, has it on here, the 154, that includes setup fee and first month. So there's going to be a setup fee on there, and then you got your first month. So that's your how much you do today and then the monthly. So yeah, it's a little bit wanna... more on that first month, but that's including the setup fee and their monthly charge in the first month. And then it's one, like for that gold package, it's 157 a month. So they'll pay 394 And if you look, that's normally 414 and then 167 So, And then, Jeremy, can you kind of go over the commissions also? Yeah, I was just gonna. Um, I was gonna actually do that in the drop down as well. So if you guys see in the plans that it's just saying 154 due today, obviously calculator can you know uh, help you really quickly on what that setup is. But it's all listed right here in the add to cart. So the gold 237 one time setup 157 a month due today 394. So if you you check that and you add it to cart, your checkout price will be 394, and then you'll be paying 157 a month thereafter. Um, commissions, yes, absolutely. Let's take. A well, look. hold on one thing. Yeah. Also, Jeremy, we're not collecting on. Let them know the ones that we're collecting on and that we're having Pegasus collect on. That's a. That's only for um, SEO and the pay per click, which we haven't gotten into that yet. Okay. Um, okay. So. so um, com- yep. Go ahead. No, it's all you. Okay, so in the commission tab, um, you know, it's pretty much all laid out, very similar to how it is um, between the plans and the, the drop-down menu here. But again, we're just going to keep going with the gold package as an example. 394 due today, 157 a month thereafter. And right here it says due today price includes a 237 one-time setup as well as the first month of 157. That's how you're getting your 394. Now, because there's a setup first month, the commissions will be a little bit higher the first month. Um, so how I have it designed here is how much commission value goes into the comp plan in total. So for the gold package of the first month, $109.92 of commission value goes in, and then $43.80 a month thereafter. So the $109.92 is higher because it has the setup plus the first month, and then the thereafter is only um, the, the commission value just on the $157 a month. And then uh, if you scroll down, then it looks at, you know, you were looking at what do I make directly as an advisor, so it's 45% of all of these numbers, and that's all broken down for you guys uh, right there. So gold package, 50, uh, $49.46 first month, and then um, basically $20 a month in residual income, 1971 to be exact. And uh, the other website, so this is the non-e-commerce website, so the e-commerce or the shopper websites are designed the exact same way as this one uh, is. Do we want to, um, I I know we're starting to get kind of towards the end of the call here, but do we want to jump into the SEO and talk about that for a few minutes? Hold on, Jeremy. Um, Are there any other questions? I think think we did a good job. So that being said, thank you, Franklin. Uh, We really appreciate, you know, what you have offered here uh, in the partnership with Agora. We, We highly value this. And uh, let me double check here. Yeah, Gene Malin said, "Great job." So Gene actually, uh, Gene, you actually sold the first one, right? <laughs> uh, mm-hmm. Want to talk about that real quick, and then we'll end, we'll end this part of the call with that. Yeah, no, uh, Franklin and I are. I, my understanding is we're going to be talking uh, yet today to get this thing rolling. But I actually think it might be a company that you haven't even worked with, uh, an industry you haven't even worked with before, Franklin, excavating and farm drainage and tiling. Yeah, that's a new That'd one. Yep, yeah. yep. So we're going to be back on that. Pretty excited to get this one rolling. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm yeah, sure and, and th- this day. company doesn't have a website at all, so this is going to be a great start for them. And if I remember and, uh, correctly, that's the the gold package you cre- you sold, correct? Yeah. Yes. Because they're going to need the flex pages and all that. That's why I recommend it. Yes. I think that's going to be perfect for them because they might do other things too. So that's going to be, you know, so like I said, you want to make sure, you know, although, although they have that lower price in one, make sure you don't just throw someone in that and they need something more or oversell, you know, you always, when you're working with a client, you always want to, you don't want to oversell or undersell. You never want them to have buyer's remorse. But then uh, Frank will also help make sure they get into the right package in case it is sold incorrectly. Exactly. So good job. Thank you very much. Uh, this, this is very exciting. You know, the, the, I can't express enough how important a website is to a business, and that's why, you know, I, I'm so thankful that I was able to partner up with, um, with Frank. And, you know, you just have an incredible product. Your prices are great. This is going to be a really good deal for everyone that we touch, you know, the customization. Very exciting. 